state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of this state. Today's broadcast. Kyumtan waterfall of Western Armenia partially frozen. The resuming of search operations for bodies of fallen troops. Pashinya satisfied with presence of Russian peacekeepers in Nagorno-Karabakh. U.S. should withdraw troops from Syria and stop using our national resources. Syrian representative to the U.N. The memory of the first professional boxer of Turkey, Garbis Zakaryan, to be commemorated in Istanbul. Lake Van hosting guests from Siberia. Bahan Tekian is born on January 21. The visit of the delegation of Western Armenia to Yarabulur available on our official website and YouTube channel. Most of Gyumnar waterfall in Darende, Malatya, Western Armenia is frozen due to the cold weather in the region. The waterfall has been declared as a protected botanical garden and hosts many local and foreign tourists all year round. The water flowing from a height of 40 meters turned into huge ices on the rocks as a result of freezing creating a unique view. On the other hand, snow removal works continue in the center of the region and in the highlands. The search operations for the bodies of fallen servicemen and missing in action have resumed in the battle zones on January 21. As reported by Armen Press, an official of the State Emergency Service of Artsakh, Hunan Tadevosyan, told. After yesterday's post, the search operations have resumed today in the directions of Hadrut, Terakhtik and Jirakan. So far, a total of 1,247 bodies of fallen servicemen and civilians have been found as a result of the search operations. He said, adding that the parents of missing servicemen also participate in the search operations. Prime Minister of Armenia Nikol Pashinyan assesses the presence of the Russian peacekeepers in Nagorno-Karabakh as positive. As reported by Armen Press, Pashinyan mentioned during the parliament session. Nothing has changed in the security relations between the Republic of Armenia and the Republic of Artsakh. But obviously, a new factor has been added, which is the presence of the Russian peacekeepers in Artsakh. Is the presence of the Russian peacekeepers in Artsakh positive or negative? It's obviously positive. Their presence is for solving a concrete security issue. Syria has sent its first message to the new president of the United States, Joe Biden, urging him to withdraw his troops from the Arab Republic and to refrain from attempts of misusing the country's oil resources. The American Newsweek magazine writes about this on January 21. Syria's permanent representative in the United Nations, Bashar al-Jafari, criticized U.S. actions in his country during a virtual meeting of the U.N. Security Council on Wednesday. The inauguration of the U.S. president was taking place in Washington in parallel with the sitting. American occupation forces continue robbing Syria, oil, gas, agriculture, products, wealth of Syria, burning and destroying what they cannot steal. The new U.S. administration must stop aggression and robbing my country. Withdraw is occupying forces, stop supporting separatist militias and groups that threaten Syria's sovereignty, unity and territorial integrity, mentioned the Syrian diplomat. A commemoration ceremony will be held on January 25 at the Armenian Cemetery in the Sisli district of Istanbul on the occasion of the first anniversary of the death of the Iron Fist, the first professional boxer in Turkey, Garbis Zakaryan. Zakaryan died on January 25 of 2020 at the age of 90. Zakaryan was born in 1930. He had a career as a boxer of 22 years. The boxer has had 200 amateur and 51 professional fights. Zakaryan became the champion of the Middle East in 1964 after becoming the champion of Istanbul and Turkey. It is mentioned that a documentary about Garbis Zakaryan's life and sports career will be shot with the funding of Lewis Media operating in Turkey. Lake Van of Western Armenia, home to a variety of birds, hosted singing swans, a symbol of purity and nobility from northern Siberia. The animals remain hungry and seek refuge because of the extremely cold weather in these areas. Lake Van, which with its huge reeds and water-rich places hosts hundreds of species of birds, is filled with flamingos in summer and singing swans in winter. There are numerous in the wetlands around Lake Van and Erzak. Singing swans appear with their white feathers, swinging into the blue waters of the lake, making an impression of a fairy tale. A famous Armenian poet Vahan Mihrani Tekeyan was born in 1878 in the Ortagyuk district of Constantinople. He is one of the best Armenian creators who survived the genocide against the Armenians, kept high the fate of the future and mentioned the ideas of cheerfulness and heroism in his works. He received his primary education in his birthplace and was a student of Nersisyan, Perperian, Kentornagan Central Schools. He left for Europe in 1896 as a trade officer and settled in Egypt. He constantly worked for periodicals of Western Armenia from here. Since 1905, he has been uniting Armenian writers around the Shirak periodical founded by him. 
After the fall of Hamidian tyranny, Tekian transferred Chirak to Constantinople and settled there, participating in national and public life. Tekian is not only an author of wonderful poems and sonnets, but also wrote stories about the life of Armenian colony and liberation movements. He died in Cairo on April 4, 1945. Tekian's body is buried in the Armenian cemetery in Cairo. Dear followers, you can watch the visit of the delegation of Western Armenia to Yarabulur of January 20 on our official website and YouTube channel. Now we present you Arshavenk Sireli Stepi Sirion Van by Van. full version is available on the official website of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.